water, earth, fire, and air. The sages, rulers, and bards used to tell stories about the old days. A time of peace when the Avatar, the master of all four elements, kept the balance between the water tribes, the earth kingdom, the fire nation, and the air nomads. That all changed when the fire nation attacked. Avatar Roku, or so it's told, was betrayed by his best friend, the Fire Lord Sozin. And the airbending avatar, next in the cycle, vanished and started what will be known as the Hundred Year War. Fire Lord Sozin then found the power to completely destroy the peaceful air nomads leaving their beautiful temples as ash and destruction. Ninety years have passed, and the Fire Nation is nearing victory in the war. As we join our heroes... They are beginning their way to Ba Sing Se in order to attempt to save it and stop the invasion from the Dragon of the West, General Iroh. As they've begun uh, going towards Ba Sing Se, Rook has volunteered to uh, take the bison by the reins and lead you all over. As some traveling goes by, uh, you are uh, just the four of you and you are joined uh by um uh, Haley as well and uh the avalanche has decided to go back home at this moment uh so you all have been traveling for a little bit now uh it is sunset so the sun's just about to set as you were all flying uh over the land uh i need everybody at the start of this to roll uh, 2d6 for me, please. Uh, Rook, you have advantage. Oh. Thank you so much. Ooh. Noted. Two. Okay. The um, mountain, what did you get? I didn't say mine. I said, I ooh. You said Oh, I thought you did this, though. <laughs> no, I didn't oh, do you anything. Know, I, uh, I, I got rolled. seven. Seven. I rolled a solid four, my dude. Okay, uh, Rook, what'd you get? Yeah. Oh, dope. Okay, uh, we'll go... Uh, we'll start with uh, Yuka in the mountain. It's a normal trip. You're not paying any mind to it. You're kind of just like, ooh, pretty scenery, lots of trees and all well, that. Well, yeah, she's probably still in a food coma. <laughs> probably. Uh, you roll for food coma. 2d6. Let's see what happens. <laughs> roll for food coma. Roll for food coma. Roll That's for every coma. Thanksgiving. Seven. You say a seven? Yeah. You're fine. You're just like, oh. <laughs> uh, and then you, uh, Kay, you got a seven, correct? Yes. All right. So we'll go to you next. Uh, and then Rook, you'll obviously see what he sees, and then whatever I tell you next. So, Kay, you see there is a massive tree that you all are kind of flying towards it is way larger than all of the rest of the trees around you Rook you notice this as well you also notice that this is the tree okay um, let the RP begin okay uh, how close am I are we to like the tree like are we like you still probably have uh, maybe two minutes till you get there okay so you're not uh, like quite there yet but you're like um almost there rook's kind of gonna stand up a little bit from luna's head like little neck area and go to the back and put took with um stevie i believe right his name is stevie yep stevie is also on mm -hmm. the bison i forgot i forgot about stevie don't forget, yeah, forget about, about stevie, stevie. Uh, he's, a, he's a put him with stevie and I that's um, why i forgot about stevie <laughs> I need they kind of be a little bit solace and quiet right now. Okay. Uh, the rest of you can continue on your way. Uh, the only other person that does see the tree would be Kay. 
Yes. I'm... If Rook comes back up, I'm just going to be like, that's a big tree. Yeah, no, it, it is a big tree. And um, it's a huge tree. At this point, you now both can see the ginormous tree because they've called it out. It's not that big. No, it's pretty big. I believe that's what the mountain calls a toothpick. I believe that you're delusional. Or, so are we uh, going to go around the tree, over top of the tree? We're kind of heading straight tree. for the tree. You know, <laughs> like, you were like, I don't think like that's right a great, I don't can think I that's a little, great idea. <laughs> can I get a countdown for how close we are really quick? Uh, you have about 60 seconds. Okay. Um, Rook's kind of going to get up from next to K. He's going to tell Luna, like, direct her towards where Bossing Say is. Uh, she kind of veers slightly. The, you all notice Luna kind of, like, turns a little bit. And, um, without saying a word, without doing anything, Rook is leaving. What? He's jumping off. Alright, uh, you give Are you jumping six. onto the tree, or are you just free-falling? I'm going down. All right, give me 2d6 plus creativity, please. I just get them over the and edge. Then, Rook? <laughs> and then everybody else, uh, I mean, if you were just talking to him, Kay, you're probably going to notice him jumping. Uh, so at this point, everyone will see Rook just jumping yeah, off just, of the bike. Yeah. just talking Rook to him, and he just gets up, doesn't say a word, and just walks off the bison. Rook has left. That is, uh, with creativity, oh. that's, uh, that's a 11. Fantastic. Uh We'll cover that in a second. Um, at this point, Luna is still going towards, like Bossing say, Rook disappears down into the woods. He is gone in the tree lines. What just happened? Did he just... And why? Did he... Where are we? He's aware that he can't fly, correct? No clue. I think so. Uh... Do we go after him? He didn't I, say to. He didn't say not to, though. He didn't say anything. The only thing that I have yeah. to help you is that Haley is standing there not knowing what to do, and you have two animals, three animals, actually, three animals that you cannot communicate with. What's the third one? Oh, yeah, no, Luna. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I turned to Haley. This is normal. Uh, <laughs> this is normal? He just yeah, jumped... He's probably dead, right? If we're you lucky. Know, you know, I've done it. This is like the third time this happened. This is this is about the third time that this has happened, and he hasn't died the other two times. I'm thinking that this is a pattern. Um, but it still doesn't explain why he, what, where we are, and why he would jump off in the first place. Yeah, normally he says something, so that's what I'm worried about. Also, how is he supposed to get the bossing say other than by foot? The original plan was to go to bo so he took us to somewhere that we don't know of. Uh, is anybody directing Luna at this point? I'm no. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not. Luna, Luna, is, in right direction. <laughs> Luna is going towards Bossing Say, but you never told her to go up or down, so she's still kind of going straight towards the branches of the tree. So you have maybe five seconds to make a decision on whether to veer her off course or let it happen. <laughs> Can I take a moment out of RP to say, please let this happen? <laughs> <laughs> God, I want this to happen so bad. I'm giving you guys the option right now. <laughs> I will make you roll for it then. If we're gonna I, I, I can't do anything about that. I'm going to be the heroes in this story. What I want to happen is Kay to just be like, I think we should go after and then just hit the tree. <laughs> the tree. <laughs> just hit the leaves. That's what I want to happen. I'll, I'll roll for it. I'll see what happens. If, if everybody's for, okay odds. with this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why not? I would, I would the odds are in your favor. Option, Josh. This is <laughs> why not? 
I'll yeah, roll for it. We, do something we all know about. I'm going to max out this role because yeah. it's something stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he's yeah. the answer. You're, 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 you're about so. to whip out hey. the uh, crystal dice and throw a 12. I got an eight. Is. So. Okay. I mean, the odds were still... That technically means it would happen then, because you're... Yeah. yeah okay. All right. So... Perfect. Um, we can RP it if you want, so continue your conversation, and I'll just cut you <laughs> off. Yeah, so anyway, this is normal. Uh, this is about the third time. Obviously, a pattern is going on here at this point. Uh, it's going to take him way too long to get the boss thing to say, so I think we should go after... <laughs> You collide into the brush. Luna gets caught in some of the brush as she's trying to like bob and weave through. Uh, I need everybody that's on the bison, that's including me, 2d6 saving rolls, please. So that's just 2d6 flat. Beautiful. And you said you got an 11 for your yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you gave me creativity, and that's, that's like yeah, my we'll, best. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that in a second. Okay. I got an 8. Okay. Oh gosh. Mm. All right. <laughs> uh, I got a nine, and all I have to say is if I get stuck in another tree with Luna, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, you're not getting stuck in the tree, <laughs> but you are going somewhere. Uh so oh, I don't like that. I do. Uh you rolled a three, Yuka. <laughs> yep. That oh I no. <laughs> all right. Yuka we'll, we'll, dies in We'll go to you last. It's the Kit's heated. She's now <laughs> in Boston. Say, <laughs> yeah. oh. meet you the guys there. Um, the the mountain you get launched down because of your massive size. You just go straight mm. through the branches and you mm -hmm. go all the way down. Uh, when you Excellent. land in the water, you kind of pick yourself up, right? You kind of like grab some of the leaves off of you and you stand up, and you just see a a uh, massive swirl of vines pulling down slowly Rook as he's water bending them and slowly descending to the ground safely. What? I don't know what I was expecting, but you know, honestly, this is probably what I should have been expecting. I'm just going to run at him. Okay, we'll come to that in a second. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna run. At we'll, we'll cover that in a second. Um, <laughs> Kay, you and Haley actually, she kind of like grabs onto you for safety, oh, and good. You both get launched the other direction as you're kind of falling. You see the mountain plummeting, and you kind of go like the opposite way of him. <laughs> so you both know yeah, that checks out <laughs> you both are now separated from the group yuka with a yep. three you are stuck to the bison saddle okay. and you are trapped in the tree with luna and all of the other pets so you have luna stevie and then you have uh took, took. Mm, lovely. So, like, uh, when you say this is a big tree, like, if I were to like look up and yell at her, would she hear me? So, this is the tree that Avatar Aang goes to in the swamp. If she's in the leaves, probably you're not. not yeah, this is like a, don't yeah, see her. This is like a it's big like, tree. You it's like don't see her. Fifty feet in the if, air. Yeah. If you've ever been to Animal Kingdom, you know the big tree of life in that. Think like yeah. fifty times that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so like a toothpick. <laughs> 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 so like a small sapling is what it's like a small sapling that has just started to grow two that, leaves two leaves minimum like like i it gets stuck in between my toes like yeah no so you cannot yell up to her you can't even okay. see her you're it is covered in uh the the treetop uh yuka Fair from enough. your perspective you're kind of dangling upside down and you see both of your party members just are yeah all three of your party members at this point go the opposite directions and you're upside down and you just hear from on top of the saddle. Ah, this is great. Some good old animal ASM <laughs> ASMR. As subscribe on my Patreon where you can get a full hour of that. 
<laughs> How much? <laughs> How much is this Patreon? How much is this Patreon? <laughs> Go on, go on. Some water, but I'd pay for that. <laughs> that's not a terrible Patreon idea, though. That's the sad part. <laughs> not at all. I'm telling you, I'm gonna sleep to that every night. <laughs> just put like some rainforest sounds, and then you just hear. Sun is just. Where did the cow get here? <laughs> all right, <laughs> so. Um, at this point, we're going to treat it kind of how you fell. So we'll go, uh, <laughs> Rook mountain and then Kay and Haley will move together. And then Yuka will go last since you didn't fall. No, I just can't do anything you, anyway, though. <laughs> you're going to have to try and get out. <laughs> uh, so it's Rook, you, you kind of now go down to the ground level and you see the mountain running towards you. <laughs> okay. Um since this is the swamp, I am I, I I fully see him like coming to charging towards me. Yeah. Yeah, Rook's on a mission right now. He is he is pretty much just wrapping him in as many vines. Okay. Um uh contesting 2d6 rolls, please. Wait, you're uh, wrapping Rook. me up in vines? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't coming to attack you, but all right. Oh, you're, you're running, running at me, man. You're running at yeah. him, though. I mean, I, I'm coming to make sure he's okay. No way, babe. No way, I rolled a three. Uh, he fully you <laughs> wrapped up. No, no issue. You were actually stopped like mid run, and you're kind of like tightened up there. It's like, what? what? I was coming to help you. Are you doing this? He isn't paying it any mind. He's not listening. He's going to go find what he he came here for. Okay, so you just start walking towards, like, following the roots and stuff then. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mountain? I don't understand. Why do we never communicate? (laughs) It's not that hard. (laughs) You should really go to therapy. (laughs) (laughs) He should. (laughs) <laughs> it's so true actually <laughs> Listen, there's right. no therapy in avatar do you just yell at him do you even try to like wrangle yourself out of the vines or are you just yelling at him I'm just annoyed man I'm so, coming to help my friend all of a sudden I'm wrapped up so now I'm just annoyed I'm just you have to remember, like, last help. episode we got in a fight <laughs> last yeah. episode we <laughs> moved on in my head from something in like head. this from something like this. <laughs> I'm just trying to go to Bossing Say, man. I, don't know I know. But that's none of Rook's concern. <laughs> it should uh, be. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, it's all just gonna get burnt now. No, no biggie or whatever. It's just Look, my home. You start walking away with all my um, friends and family. Yeah. We'll say it's like a full turn for the mountain to get out before you fully disappear into like the jungle and all that. Um, before you two would be technically alone then at that moment. Uh, so then it goes to, uh, Kay and Haley, uh, you land fully just like in like vines and different things. You're like hanging like this and (laughs) she's like a couple feet over, just like brushing herself off already. Just like, (sighs) you know, maybe, Maybe I should have just left you all. I mean, I told you. What are you <laughs> doing up there? <laughs> no. Hanging out. I chose this one. I chose this one. I would I would say I'd see myself out, but I can't move. Right. Well, uh, burn the vines that you're connected to, maybe? You know, that's not a bad option all right uh i start to like <laughs> i start to try to like <laughs> just like sear myself through the vines <laughs> you, you just drop to the ground and now i'm all wet and muddy so that's oh i can handle that hold on hold on i can do that one 
she like pulls all the the wet and mud out of you. Oh, I forgot Andy. that we could mud bend. <laughs> it's not Andy. effective, but you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe earthbenders can do it better. Honestly, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Do I do I know which direction we came from? Um, you can probably you would probably have a good guess. Um, okay. if you could probably figure out like which way to start heading to get to. Give me a two d six roll. Let's do that. Because okay. I want to. I want to know if you know something. Already had him in my hand. <laughs> that one is cocked. An eight. Uh, you have a general idea that Rook's probably heading for this tree. So you can probably figure out, like, start working your way to that. All right. Well, first things first. Thank you. Yeah. The second thing, let's go back to the tree because the mountain just fell down. Uh, Mm. don't know what happened to Yuka and Rook. Also kind of just fell down. I don't know. He was looking at that tree in a type of way. So basically, we have no plan. We're just trying to get to the tree at this point. Yes. Yeah. Woohoo! I mean, that is a plan, though. You know. The plan is to meet up with our friends. Yep. And it's spooky, dark forest. Don't forget damp. That part doesn't bother me as much. That's fair. And I just start walking. <laughs> she just walks in tandem with you. Uh, you both start walking down the trails. Uh, meanwhile, up X amount of feet in the air in the tree. Uh huh. Great. So how like how like am I like I'm just hanging upside down or like you're how, fully how, like-, like your foot is <laughs> hanging on. <laughs> You just see <laughs> the saddle. So you're just kind of like doing this. I'm just rocking. Well, okay. actually, you're doing this probably. To like a branch? Uh, oh, no, what? you're connected to the saddle. Then Luna is fully in a branch. Great. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Is the branch reachable for like my foot? Uh, 2d6 roll. We'll go with that. Ten. Yep. It's going to take you a hot second, but yep. Okay. Um, I was going to, can I try and just burn the branch to just so she can drop so she can gut off the branch. So you just want to, just want to destroy the whole branch that is holding Luna up too. Correct. I don't know. <laughs> Cause then she'd be free. Would she not? She would be. I just want to make sure that that's what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll All right. Happens. Cool. Um, you fire out of your foot. The branch sizzles and burns through. Uh, everywhere in the jungle, you just hear. Um, you get back on top of the saddle as Luna begins to plummet. Yeah. Yeah. You hear. You hear, you hear Luna, and then you, on top of that, you hear Yuka screaming. Is that... oh. Oh. <laughs> and then, some, like, subtly, once that stops, you just hear... <laughs> uh, you land in the water. And you are on the complete opposite side of where everyone else is. You have no idea where anybody is. However, you are the closest to the tree because you fell straight down from the tree. But I don't know that he's going to the tree, though, do I? To this tree? You can roll a 2d6 to see if you can figure it out. It is the massive tree. Right. That is one you're at. I got nine. You can make an educated guess. Okay. Well, I'm just going to hang out by the tree then. With- <laughs> Luna, Luna has all legs just stretched out on the water. Just Sorry, Luna. Uh, I'm, gonna get a I'm sorry. Stevie is like laying on the saddle. Took is laying on his chest. Just 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but we're not stuck upside down anymore. <laughs> Good talk, guys. Good talk. Meanwhile, in Rook's adventure, Hello. Uh, you are heading towards the tree. What is going through Rook's mind as he is walking towards this tree? Uh, he is he is perp- like only thinking of his village and trying to find whatever spirit that called him to this specific swamp. You are noticing that the mist is starting to envelop around you a little thicker than normal, almost identical to the mist in uh, right outside of your will- of your village. Got it. Uh, from the mountain's perspective, you start to notice the fog get a little thicker around Rook as he almost starts to disappear into it. Would I almost get like a sense of deja vu from that fog? Yes, you would. Because it sounds like very uh, <laughs> spirity fog. Yes, you would. It, it very much, yeah. very much gives you the same vibe. It's like the Painted Lady episode. You just start hearing the thumping, the papa just... Oh, oh. No, so it's like... I was coming towards there. Like, <laughs> you just, in the background, everyone just starts... <laughs> 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 It must all have cut off for a second. All of a sudden, we're all in cowboy get-ups. And we get here. What in here? tarnation? What in tarnation? <laughs> it must have cut out a note then. <laughs> all right. So, uh, what are you going to try and do, Mountain? Because Rook is like, just booking it. So, like, I started going towards Rook to make sure he was okay. But a still, large part of me was very, the... pissed, was very pissed off because he jumped off. But now that I see the fog, like I'm starting to understand, at least to a concept of what's happening. Mm-hmm. Oh, am I not already out of the... You're still attempting to get out. Oh, okay. Hmm. You know what? I was going to use earthbending, but I don't think I need earthbending. I'm just going to use my massive mountain wrestler strength. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, thank you. Thank Not you. even going to question that one. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds about sense. right. So I can still see Rook. Yep, he's he's almost a silhouette at this point. Okay, so I'm honestly, I'm just going to start running towards him again. I'm just going to yell, you don't have to do this alone. I like this. Oh man, Rook hears it. Uh, you can roll two d six to see if you do or not, or see if you're two and roll in your head. You, you are you are just walking. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm just walking. Uh, with a with a four, you do hear. Come to me, my child. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not. Nah. We're still nah. walking. I'm not it's touching that. <laughs> no, I'm not touching that. Time to unpack that. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> now, <laughs> hold on just a minute. <laughs> um, so the mountain, you're gonna chase after him then. Uh, so you're going to choose uh, Mountain, you're going to start uh, walking towards him. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you attempt to physically reach out to him at all at this point? I mean, I assume I'm not close enough. You, to... you can clear that. He's just walking. You're running. Okay. You are a big man. Yeah, you no, are okay. able to clear that distance. You know, I'm gonna reach out and like try to like grab his shoulder, just be like, "What's going on? We have to go to Bossing Say." Uh, two d six, please. Two d six. Seven. You go to extend your hand, and your hand phases right through Rook. And the moment your hand disappears from your line of sight, Rook is nowhere to be seen. 
spirit trap. Okay, that's a new trick. <laughs> that's a new one. All right. Where are the uh, fire ones? Speaking of the fire ones, uh, <laughs> Kay, you yes. you start walking. Um, you've probably walked at this point for maybe about five, ten minutes. Um, okay. You start to think that you're getting a little closer, but you start to notice as well that the fog is starting to really set in. And this is also the same feeling of that deja vu fog setting in. What's up with all the fog? Rook, you... Ooh. Ooh, Rook. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Why? And there's nothing that any of you can do about it. Um, We're okay. gonna have some visitors pretty soon. I have a bad feeling. Uh, she kind of, like, extends her hand. Well, then we'll face him together. Kay grabs her hand and just says, All right, into the creepy fog. As you walk into the fog with Haley, you are going to notice that you are always going to feel her hand holding you. But after a while, you are no longer going to see her there. But you will still feel that your hands are hold like very yeah. much like interlocked, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 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 Darkness mm. sets in. It is now pitch black. Still me. It's still you. Great. Awesome. Um, it's pitch black. I mean, he's a, yeah, he's, he's probably just gonna light a fire in his hand, in his other hand, his, that, that his, doesn't his have Haley's hand. hand. Yeah, yeah. His free hand. He, um, so you yeah, just light yeah, your yeah. normal fire. Okay. Yeah. The moment you do that, the fire leaves your hand and then covers a massive perimeter around you. And then the silhouette of a bright red dragon stands before you. We are going to pause on yours for right now. <clears throat> Yuka mm. and Rook. Oh, uh, <laughs> she's just hanging out with the animals. She made like a little little fire. This information pertains to both of your spiritual visits. Okay. At the same exact time, at two different locations you enter into your spiritual vision. As the mist forms fully around the both of you. Uh, for Yuka, this is, you're starting to realize what's happening in this moment where the, the fog is mm -hmm. setting in. You're no longer on Luna, but instead, the both of you find yourself in a pretty large tent that's dimly lit with a fire. Rook, mm -hmm. your perspective starts looking at a man chained to the wall. Do I recognize this man? As you get closer, you begin to realize that this is your uncle, your uncle Hakone. Uh, Rook's gonna try to, like, kneel down and see if he can, like, grab his uncle. You can grab a hold of him, but he does not interact with you at all. It is almost as if you are a spectator in the room. Are we both in the same... Are we different? Oh. 
Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Rook, you are standing kind of like kneeling right next to your uncle as you look closely at him. His hands are chained above his head. There's no water anywhere to be seen. He is bruised, scarred, and he has small burns on his body. And he's just... He stops for a second. And he says these words. I feel your spirits. At this moment, Yuka, from just entering the tent, you walk in to walk in behind a silhouette of a woman walking into a room where there is a water tribe prisoner bound and kneeling down. And next to him, you are able to see the spiritual formation of Rook. If you get a closer look at this lady, you recognize this as your mom, General Oda. That she's just going to be like mostly just kind of watching her mom. Rook, you look to see this Fire Nation general enter, and next to her is the spiritual formation of Yuka. Um, Rook's going to look kind of like visually shocked and distraught. That's like the best way I can explain. He is weird, creeped out. Why is she here? The moment you both recognize and see each other is where the vision truly begins. We will come back to you. The mountain. You just watch Rook disappear, and as the fog swells up around you, you begin to hear chanting, a familiar chanting. They are screaming out your name. Before you, an arena that you have fought in before begins to take shape. This is your championship match where you defeated the Rhino and you now have to relive the entire fight. Before you stands your challenger matching at your height, the Rhino, as he steps forward To you, this is a living memory, but you are able to act differently than how you remember it. The Rhino destroy everything! Uh, okay. (laughs) How do I feel so good and so bad at the same time? (laughs) I don't know. This is so cool and so terrifying. The mountain, honestly, the mountain doesn't respond to that first thing. Like, he hasn't clicked into it yet. He's still kind of like, what is happening? What the matter, the mountain? You know up for my might? I'm up for your might. After three days of no sleep and no food, you're nothing to me. I'm just a little confused. <laughs> the mountain did not prepare himself for the best fight of his life. <laughs> the the best fight of the mountain. Mountain. It's a harder fight getting out of bed in the morning, not you. He like comes up to you and at this moment is where you're having your face off. The announcer comes on the same exact announcement as you remember it before. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the best rumble of the century! 
In one corner, we have the undefeated Rhino and the newcomer, the one who has everybody's hearts pulled on a string, the Mountain! Cry! The <laughs> crowd just starts going wild. You both take and your I'm, fighting stances. I'm face to face with the Rhino right now, yep. right? You're like, it's pretty much like this far away from each other. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to say to myself, like, wow, the spirits even got the rhino's bad breath right. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. (laughs) Let's be honest here. I don't think toothpaste paste was invented yet, so. He could at least eat some cabbage. What is unlike. (laughs) Chewy little (laughs) mint. What is unlike your memory? Mm Mm-hmm. In your memory, you strike first, as you always did with your matches. He strikes first this time. He takes a rock out of the ground and begins to throw it towards you. And as you're reliving the memory, you don't remember him throwing the rock first. So you are Mm -hmm. almost caught off guard. So if you want to react, you can, or you can choose to take the rock. I thought he left on shock. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Who are you talking about? We've all been here (laughs) the entire time. I mean, if I'm being honest with myself, the rhino's going to take the rock. Hey, yo, Um, the PG rating, though. (laughs) Hey, we got a top level editor. We're fine. I have quite literally done so many bleeps. This is like his third one. He has. He has <laughs> a few. You see the rock get thrown towards you. You decide to take it. As the rock comes closer and closer to you, though, you notice that it grows tremendously in size until the rock is bigger than you are. And as it well, slams into you, it sends you flying into the arena. The audience like into the gasp. stands? Yeah, you're in the stands. Oh? Okay. The mountain not so tough after all. The mountain must be having a very bad nightmare. Boo! I'm voting for the rhino. One little, little kid, one little kid, just in the mountain's ear. You suck. <laughs> hey, yo, You'll yo, never yo, beat him. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm oh, just full, com- I'm full committing now. Oh, Don't brother, you dare. this guy, this guy stinks. stinks. <laughs> okay, I, I'm full committing. I am. Diving back into that arena. I'm just charging him. Uh, you're diving back into the arena. What would you like to do while you're diving back in the arena? What do you mean? Do you want to try and do an attack while you're doing so? Or are you just okay. getting back into the line of fire? I, I got nothing but fury in my eyes. I am just charging back into the line of fire. All right. Uh, you start rushing towards them then. And that's where we'll pause on yours and we'll come back to you. Oh, I can't wait. <clears throat> and before you start thinking you're the comic relief of this section, you're not. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Are you talking about me? <laughs> no, I was actually referring to him. <laughs> oh, well, My life's the comic relief. Um, I felt that in my gonna, soul. I'm not going to touch that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you are now the back silhouette of you looking upon this red dragon, you start to notice walls forming behind the dragon. The fire is licking the walls and causing some scorch marks. You look a little closer and you see that these are the walls of Ba Sing Se. And on these Earth Kingdom symbols, a Fire Nation banner it's put and draped over top the red dragon looks at you (sighs) 
You're a traitor, you know. You could say that, yeah. Why are you here? Oh, uh, to stop that from happening. You should want this. It's in your blood to conquer, to be a great general. Sure. I guess. Guess? It's not my head. It's not my heart. The dragon shrinks a little in size. In your heart? Yeah. And in my will. Uh, you feel the hand that you're holding tighten its grip. I'm not going to say I much prefer the people of the world over the people of what I used to call my home. Your home, your bloodline, your honor. I don't have any honor. That died a couple days ago. 2d6 plus uh, passion, please. (laughs) Oh, Baby. Seven. As the dragon standing in front of you, a silhouette begins to step out from it. The silhouette is of General Iroh. Uh, Kay is going to step back in in both respect and fear like he sure. knows what the Iron moment is capable you, of. the moment you do that the fires pick up and go a little higher okay mm-hmm. honor does not die honor is built I guess so. I guess you could say my honor was torn down. Uh, The hand that you're holding is like white knuckle rip on on yours right now. Mm -hmm. The red dragon lifts its head up and begins to breathe fire out. General Iroh looks up at you. I must burn this city. It's it's my destiny. If it's your destiny to burn the city, then it's mine to save it. The and fire cave returns his step forward. The fire goes down and is instead replaced with light. This is the first bit of true light that you've been able to see. As you look closely, the fire has then begun to lick onto the symbols covering the Earth Kingdom uh, symbol. (laughs) Then you'll have to fight me for it. So be it. He then takes a fighting stance. Ooh. Cave realizing that he can't follow suit. Uh, he's going to just step in front of his hand. Okay. In like a sort of like a guarding motion towards Haley. Uh, I, I think he's just going to stare into Ira's eyes. Like, come what may, he's just going to take it. The camera pans and looks 
as you see the wide silhouette of you both just staring off at each other. Mm-hmm. The white light emanating from your side begins to take a shape, and that shape is of the white lotus. Pretty cool. Yuga and Rook. You all, all are right. going to hate me. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to drop that there. I love that. I love that. <laughs> You there's gonna be a lot of that going around. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be an interesting day. This is not gonna go well. So uh, I'm there sorry, is a, Yuka. There is a split <laughs> second where you both are realizing that you can see each other. There is a way that you can interact with each other. You if you try it. Uh, Rook is is hesitant to, to leave the side of his uncle. He doesn't want his uncle to think he left. Fair enough. So he's just say kind of like motion to her, like <laughs> just the whole like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is my vision. <laughs> Do you say that out loud? <laughs> yeah. 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 Rook's like she- this is. What are you doing here? She hears that. You think I wanted to be here? No, no. But, but why are you here? There's, there's only like two ways to get into my vision. You think I, I fell out of a tree? You, I don't you know guys, how I got here. You all had your choice to leave me. I, I, I didn't left. say anything. I pointed the bison at Bossing Say. I didn't see that. I was busy looking at the tree. Maybe you should pay attention to the bison. As you say this, your uncle speaks for the first time. Well, for the first time out loud, I should mean. Like, fully out loud. So, General Oda, you want to try and pry more information out of me? Good luck. He spits at her feet. General Oda stands there. (laughs) Oh, no. See, this time I actually wanted to do a wellness check on you. See how you were doing. See if you needed anything. Maybe a glass of water. Oh, the silent treatment again. Uh, at this point, Yuka, she kind of like walks right through you because of where you're standing. So she phases right through you, and now you're able to kind of move either closer to Rook so you can watch or stay on the side of uh, your mom. I think in that moment, she's going to freeze because she hasn't like actually seen her mom. She's just like, she ran away. Uh, Rook, you see this and see her reaction to it. Rook is kind of like putting everything together like he hears the name he sees what's happening and all the like the cogs in his brain are turning he hasn't yet like come to terms with it he is just he's like stunned she walks over to him kneels down and this is the first time you were seeing General Oda up close Rook and she looks an awful lot like Yuka. Oh, okay. Rook is gonna base like look into the eyes of General Oda with just like piercing anger. And then look the same exact look <clears throat> at Yuka. As she's kneeling down in front of tell me, I can't seem to get any information on your village. An entire fleet was destroyed at you, and yet you willingly let me capture you. Why? You're so smart. Figure it out for yourself. 
I think you're protecting something. Or someone. She kind of looks over to where Rook is. Just kind of like, in general, looking in that direction, not really knowing anything of what's going on. But just, it's very much you're looking right at her. Maybe a son, a daughter, a nephew. And he kind of tenses up a little bit when she says that. Un, like, purely on instinct. Yuka, you notice that she's acting a little bit more hostile than normal. It's at this moment that a female Fire Nation soldier comes into the room. Uh, uh, General Oda, sorry to interrupt. (sighs) Yes, daughter, what is it you need? General Oda turns to face this girl. Yuka, this is the girl your sister told you about. Her heart's just gonna, like, sink hearing that. Uh, Rook, you see uh, Yuka look pale as a ghost at this point. Okay. Um, um, s- sir, um, ma'am, uh, sorry, um, uh, I'm, I'm really nervous about this. You said not to interrupt you, but spit it out, child. Um, C- Captain Shaw is, is moving her forces to our location. What would you like us to do about that? And she's going to look back over to Hakone. Meanwhile, as you are bomb rushing the rhino, Uh. I need you to roll 2d6 for me, please. Cool. Uh, he's going to just straight haymaker towards you. You are actually going to be able to block it and counterattack it. So what would you like to do? So I'm gonna is he is he throwing with his right arm or left arm? He is throwing with his left arm. With his left arm. Then I want to bring my right arm up. To block the punch, I'm going to take my left leg and just knee him straight in the chest. Cool. Yeah, you absolutely can do that. Um, As you block it and then knee him right in the chest, he drops to the ground. Um, I need everyone to roll a 2d6, please. How dare you ask that of me? (laughs) 